So I put out this YouTube post about a week ago now. It's been a while, if I'm honest. But we now have the, if I can see it, there, there you go. The £65 gaming PC. And we're going to take a look at it because I want to have a look into it. Before I start it up, see if there's any, like, the GPU's been, like, lodged loose or, like, the CPU colour's hanging off or something like that. So we're going to have a look and see what it's like. So, right, taking the side panel off now, and let's... If I can get a grip on it. There we go. And this is the inside. Look at that ketchup and mustard cabling. That looks so, so nice. And uh, what have we got here? So that's the... Well, it's a GT210, if I'm honest, which is... An impeccable GPU. No, I'm joking. It's terrible. It's an awful GPU. Should never have launched, and it's basically a display adapter at this point. So yeah, we'll rip that out. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at the rest of the PC. So this is the CPU caller, and I believe oh, it's loose. Um, that's not good. It, so it's a good job I did actually have a look at it. So yeah, up here it looks like we've got like a 92 mil, 80 mil fan, something like that. It looks like it's got room for two, and the motherboard actually looks quite good. It's got a, is that an NVMe slot? Yeah, it is. It's an NVMe slot on a third gen board, which I find is pretty weird. But yeah, and what's the power supply? It is a a CIT four fifty. Um, yeah, I might be able to make something of this build. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, well, repair this PC because the cooler's kind of hanging off and stuff like that. But I'm also going to see if it actually boots. I'm going to see if it's going to run games, not how well it runs them. Because a GT210, it wasn't a great GPU back when it came out and it certainly isn't a great one now. So yeah, let's just see how it performs or if it performs. So since that intro, it's been about a week because I've just been so busy on other content, if I'm honest. But this PC was never going to be good at gaming, was it? A GT210 with DDR2 VRAM on it is never going to play games well, let's be honest, or games that were made this millennium. The newest game is up first, and that is Minecraft out of all games. I installed Optifine, and I even do this on my RTX 3080 PC, to be honest. So yeah, it just enables better performance. I set the render distance at 8 chunks and the average FPS was 57 and the 1% low was 43 FPS. There were lots of stutters especially when turning around but Minecraft is technically playable especially on 8 chunk render distance which is nothing to shy at really for a PC of this caliber but yeah not terrible. Fallout New Vegas is up next and this game launched in 2010 I think something like that. It defaulted to the medium preset and I don't know why it did that because it got 29 FPS on average with 16 FPS for the 1% low. Performance was dreadful. <laughs> All things considered it's a GT210 at the end of the day so yeah that's not too bad I guess. Next up is Left 4 Dead 2 and this old arcade game runs on the Source engine which is very friendly on very low end hardware and I set it to the low preset here and this got 40 FPS on average with 28 FPS for the 1% low. So yet again, loads of stutters, but it is still technically playable. Last up is Portal 2. I didn't do many benchmarks on this thing for obvious reason. It was just to get a gauge of how well it performed, mainly out of curiosity. But I set Portal to the low preset and this got 36 FPS on average with 20 FPS for the 1% low. Yet again, lots of stutters. It's probably down to the DDR2 memory on the GT210. It may surprise you if I said I did have a GT210 at some point in my main system, that is. Back in 2015, my main system was a Core 2 Duo Q6600, 
two gigabytes of DDR2 memory. Yes, yeah, so that's a DDR2. And the worst part of it is not the GT210, it was running Windows Vista. Yes, the worst operating system I have ever used in the history of my life. Windows Vista, I'm glad you're gone. You're terrible, but rant over. So at some point, I was used to performance like this, but I think my GT210 was slightly better than this because it had one gigabyte of frame buffer and it might have been a DDR3 version as well. So a premium GT210. But I believe this PC here does have the foundation to become a decent 1080p gaming rig with a few upgrades like a SSD as the boot drive. I timed the boot time all the way from power on to get into the desktop and it took one minute and eight seconds, which is all things considered with a hard drive, that's not too bad. But this is where an SSD is much better. They're random read and write. They have a lot more IOPS than a hard drive and that makes the system a lot more snappier, a lot more responsive. And even if you've got something like a first gen i3, upgrading from a hard drive to an SSD is the biggest upgrade you can make. Speaking of the CPU though, the i3 in this is perfectly fine for a GT210, but if you wanted to upgrade the graphics card, I'd recommend upgrading to something like the i5-3470. You won't have to upgrade the cooler or the power supply, and it's a much better CPU, having four physical cores and double the L3 cache at six megabytes. And even if you wanted to go a tiny bit further, you could pick up the i7-3770, which has eight gigabytes of L3 cache, and it has four cores and eight threads, so, it's a lot better and should do a lot better, especially in modern games. And lastly, probably the main upgrade for gaming performance at least, is upgrading the graphics card. The GT210 was bad when it released and it's bad now. Something like a 1650 or an RX 570 would be perfect for this PC as they are pretty low wattage GPUs and you've got to consider the really bad, questionable quality 450 watt power supply in this thing. So. Hopefully you can put them GPUs in without this thing blowing up and destroying your whole home, so yeah. So in its current state, this PC is pretty terrible, but it does have the foundation with a little investment to be a decent 1080p eSports gaming PC, which would run games like Fortnite, CSGO, Rainbow Six Siege perfectly fine. That is a video I'm working on, so if you wanna see that, stay subscribed and like this video because I will bring that video to you, so. Yeah, make sure you stay subbed for that. So with all that being said, I'm going to leave this video here. So if you like this one, like it, stay subscribed for more tech content, and I'll catch you in the next one.